Well, now the latest on an eyewitness news alert. A Rhode Island company is recalling an additional 115,000 pounds of meat products because it may be contaminated with salmonella. Daniela International of Burraville first recalled more than 1 million pounds of salami products last month after more than 200 consumers got sick nationwide. Now investigators have zeroed in on another possible source of the contamination, and it's linked to more meat products than originally suspected. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan has the development. Details. Well, first it was determined that black pepper used in some salami products tested positive for salmonella, but a recent illness linked salmonella to another source, red pepper. Late last night, the USDA issued an immediate recall of thousands of pounds of salami products from Danielle International out of Burraville. The recall is being expanded after confirmed findings of salmonella and an unopened salami product. What was the it was a panino, and based on that, uh, the company has now recalled an additional 115,000 pounds of paninos uh, to be on the safe side. The product was sampled during the course of an ongoing investigation of a nationwide outbreak of salmonella. So far, more than 200 people have gotten sick from eating various salami products containing black pepper. But based on preliminary testing results, the company believes that crushed red pepper may be another possible source of the salmonella contamination. At this point in time, one of the things that they're looking at is a possible cause of that is red pepper that was used in making those paninos um, that come from the same distributor as the black pepper that was originally involved in the outbreaks. The Rhode Island Department of Health contacted three local facilities in Rhode Island that received the products that are now part of this expanded recall, Warwick Poultry, Tony Colonial, and Westerly Packing Company. Now those companies are contacting their customers to remove the products from store shelves. For those of you who may have eaten paninos contaminated by salmonella, the health department said it could take between 12 hours to 5 days to feel any symptoms. The symptoms could be mild to severe nausea and diarrhea. If you're concerned at all, though, the health department recommends you simply contact your doctor. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.